Okay, hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you why I think Paul Morphy was way better than any of us actually think he was. Um, he's just way better than modern players give him credit for. So this is actually a pretty famous uh, Paul Morphy game that I got up here on my uh, chess base. Uh, it's Paul Morphy versus the Duke and the Count. Uh, so it's uh, his most famous game, actually. So it's like e4, e5, knight of 3, d6, uh, bishop g4, so already a mistake. Uh, d takes e5, and then uh, bishop takes f3, and Morphy plays queen takes f3. So here's where I want to start talking about how Morphy's just way better than we all think. Because years later, like you can see in some of the comments here, and actually this uh, GF3, this wasn't originally Pacman's recommendation. Uh, it was originally uh, uh, William Steinitz. Uh, said that Morphy should have played gf3, d takes e5, queen d8, king d8, and then f4, and uh, gone after the middle of the board. But I'm just going to show you something real quick. Like, let's just take a look and see what a modern engine thinks. Like, what should, you know, White's uh, move be here? So if I start running Stockfish in this position, the computer says no. Queen f3 is better, you know, significantly better than gf3. And if I let it run longer, the longer it runs, the longer it thinks you know, queen f3 is better than gf3. Now, gf3 is still, you know, major advantage white, not a bad move, but Morphe's move uh, turns out to be the best move. Uh, so I'm going to turn off the engine just for a second, just so you can appreciate the next part of this. Uh, so queen takes f3, d takes c5, bishop c4, knight f6, and then Morphe played queen to b3. And uh, he's, of course, attacking the f7 square, threatening mate in two, and he's also attacking b7, and the duke and account, of course, had to play the move uh, queen to e7. So here's kind of the fun part of the video. When I was a kid, I was always told uh, that Morphe's next move was a mistake, but he just made it because he wanted to get the game over with quickly because he knew he was playing against amateurs. Uh, but that Morphe really should have either taken this pawn or even better... Uh, he should have, you know, taken two pawns. He could have played bishop takes f7, queen f7, and then queen b7 is the idea. So you can't allow that. So black would have had to uh, move his king, and then you still have queen to b7, and then black would have been forced to exchange queens, and then say after bishop takes b4, b takes b4, bishop, you know, pawn to c3, and then bishop c5, that this would be a really good, you know, position for uh, white. And as you can see, other players have actually followed down this path because for so many years we believed that this was best and some of the initial computers said that this was uh, absolutely best but i'm going to show you something really interesting so here we thought just grabbing either one pawn or grabbing two pawns was much better than morphe's knight c3 but if i take a modern engine like a modern engine with the you know with the nnu and the hybrid and all the threads and everything cool and i run it so i'm just going to run a modern engine at first the modern engine says yeah Morphe should take the stuff. But look at knight c3. Watch it climb. It's already at plus 3 pawns, and now it's at plus 3.8 pawns. Now it's less than 7 one hundredths of a pawn different than just taking the stuff. Knight c3 was not only an amazingly good move, it's considered, according to the modern engines, the second best move in the position. And the move bishop takes f7, which we all thought was the super sophisticated move, doesn't even register. It only gives it very slight advantage white. Actually, black is close to equalizing because of a tactic right at the end of everything. It's actually giving queen f7, uh, queen to b7, and then uh, there's some uh, cutesy tactics here at the end somewhere where black is almost getting back into the game. So... According to uh, these modern engines, um, and this is just the absolutely coolest, most incredible thing, according to these modern engines, uh, Morphe played these games nearly perfectly. Like, after knight to c3, if you just follow the engine while Morphe plays the rest of his moves, if you haven't seen this game, uh, you know, c6, bishop g5, all top picks, uh, b5, knight takes b5, top pick, according to the engine, takes, bishop b5, Knight on b to d7, castles queenside, rook d8, rook d7, takes, rook d1, all top picks, queen e6, uh, bishop takes d7, knight takes d7, queen b8, knight b8, rook d8. So not only did Paul Morphy win this game in brilliant fashion, uh, after looking at this game with the current version of Stockfish, I can honestly say that Stockfish could not have done any better. Uh, and I don't know, that, that seems like 
uh, just about the best thing you can say about somebody that played a chess game back in 1858. So I think Morphy is a lot better than we all thought. <laughs> and actually, if he played today, he would probably be pretty good. So anyways, I hope you thought this was an interesting video. Uh, I hope you found it fascinating. Uh, I hope you learned something new about chess. Please hit that like button, hit subscribe, click on your notification icon. Thank you very much for watching.